okay guys so in the last video we have discussed about how to calculate the stress due to bending moment okay and we have learned this equation that is m by i is equal to f by y is equal to uh, e by r okay and in this video we will specially focus on this particular equation okay and the main mission of this video is to learn about section modulus okay section modulus so let's start before diving in let's take up the basic things okay we had a beam like this okay this was our beam and it was subjected to some load like this one symmetric load okay this portion was under pure bending and we consider an element like this one okay this was subjected to bending m okay and the cross section was very much arbitrary like this okay we had an axis like this this is known as neutral axis okay and the distance of the fiber let's say this one okay where we are measuring the stress was y okay and i was the moment of inertia about this neutral axis got it everything is recapped now let's say we have the maximum distance of this fiber the stop fiber is let's say y1 and the maximum distance of this bottom fiber let's say this is y2 okay so what is the maximum stress for this top fiber you can calculate from this equation just do it just do it okay so what is the stress let uh, replace f with sigma so sigma and this is in compression everything here is in compression okay and everything is here uh, in tension okay i think you have already got that idea okay so the maximum stress compressive stress sigma c is written as moment times y here y is simply y1 divided by i okay or we can say that this is moment divided by i divided by y1 that's it okay what is the maximum stress in this bottom fiber let's do it find it that is sigma and it is tension so this is coming as m times y2 by i okay and similarly we will rewrite it as m divided by i divided by y2 that's it okay now let's replace these two things that is i plus y okay let's replace this two thing by a single term okay and what is that that is known as z where z is i divided by y got it and this z is of course here y1 for z1 and z2 this is i divided by y2 okay so instead of using two parameter now we will use only a single parameter that is known as z and this z is nothing but our beautiful uh, section modulus okay this z is nothing but section modulus okay section modulus got it so now if uh, i and y here okay initially we had i moment of inertia about the neutral axis and we had the distance of the maximum fiber at a distance of y1 okay so why we need to learn about z what is the necessity okay so let's say you have a beam got it and let's say this is uh, subjected to a pure bending moment m okay and you have been given that you may use any material like steel or cast iron okay that means you have a specific uh, stress limit okay so m is given as well as stress is limited 
so you have to find out which section you will provide okay definitely in practical case you cannot simply draw a line like this and you will say well this is my beam now you can put your bloody load it's not like that correct what you need you need a particular section and that section may be uh, something like this 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 may be your a square section or rectangular one okay or maybe you have a section like circular one what my point or maybe you have a section uh, like this one a trapezoidal one like this anything can be happened or maybe finally you have a section uh, the famous I section okay you have to choose which one you will provide to carry this bending moment okay and here this section modulus is your friend philosopher and guide okay so let's see how we can use this section modulus to choose this particular section for a particular loading and stress condition okay so first let me erase everything so we have got the equation for section modulus that is z1 is equal to moment by y1 and z2 is equals with moment sorry this is not moment just a minute just a minute uh, this happens okay i'm sorry for that this is moment of inertia not moment bending moment okay so this was for z1 and for z2 it was moment of inertia divided by y2 and you know what is y1 and what is y2 okay so now here you can again calculate your stress okay again we are referring this equation okay from this equation you can write down that stress sigma 1 is nothing but moment divided by z1 and sigma 2 is equal to moment divided by z2 okay and this sigma 1 was nothing but compression and this one was tension okay so let's say you have a material like steel okay so this steel has ill stress that is same for compression as well as tension got it so in this case you need to have z1 equals with z2 any problem got it so here z1 is equal to z2 that means this bloody y1 is equals with this y2 and that means again that means okay that means your neutral axis okay the neutral axis pass through the centroid of the section and this is the case of a rectangular section okay a circular section okay so when we have a material like steel which have the maximum stress limit for compression and tension which are equals in that case we need to provide section modulus for both the maximum compressed fiber and maximum tension fiber same for that we need y1 is equals with y2 and this is the case where we can provide these things so we have to use the rectangular or square and or uh, circular section not my point now consider another case okay let's say instead of steel you are given uh, a cast iron okay so here the material is cast iron and you know that in case of a cast iron this sigma c okay this sigma c is well this is now cast iron okay now this for cast iron we have sigma c or the strength in compression is much more higher 
than strength in tension. So when it is possible from this equation we can say this is possible if we have a case where z1 okay this z1 is less than z2 okay correct and when it is possible to provide a z1 that is less than z2 of course for that we need to have okay for that case we need to have uh, let me pick this color a y1 that is greater than y2 because from the formula you can see that z is inversely proportional with this y simple mathematics so when it is possible here here you can see that the more mass are distributed towards bottom okay so if we draw this section with some enlargement here you can see okay the neutral axis lying somehow here that means here you can see y1 and this is only y2 of course y1 is greater so in this section we have z1 get less than z2 so for cast iron we need to use this type of section okay so now you have got my point when we need to choose which type of section that is completely uh, defined by this section modulus okay so uh, this was the basic concept for choosing your beam section now let's say we have a steel beam okay and we are given a similar cross section area okay so you have been given let's say a cross sectional area a okay and this is fixed and you have been given two options first one is square second one is circle which one will carry maximum amount of bending moment okay let's find out so we have been given two cross section okay so first one is let's say square okay and the length of each side is let's say b and second one is circle with diameter of d okay and if we need to express b in terms of d as the area is equal we can write it that d square is equal to with pi by 4 times d square and it gives us b as square root of pi divided by 2 times d okay now what is the section modulus for circular section okay what is the section modulus for circle you know that section modulus z is equals with i by y okay y max or y1 or y2 here this is symmetrical so we will use y max so for circle y max is how much this is the y max and this is nothing but d by 2 got it so what is the i for circle i is given as pi by 32 okay uh, sorry it is not 32 it is 64 times d to the power 4 and y max we have just found it out that this is d by 2 okay and this gives us that z for a circle is nothing but pi divided by uh, 32 d, d cube or we can also rewrite it as pi divided by 4 into d square times dy 8 and the main intention is to replace this one with cross sectional area so we have z as 1 8 of cross sectional area a times d now let's find the section modulus for this square section okay and for this z is i by y max 
okay and this y max is nothing but b by 2 and you know i is 1 12th times b to the power 4 okay so we are getting z for square section as uh, this one is i by y max so we are getting 1 12th times b to the power 4 okay this is b this is b b to the power 4 divided by b by 2 and this gives us uh, b cube by 6 or simply 1 sixth of b square times b and b square is nothing but the area okay so we have z of the square section as 1 sixth of a times b and b is given as this one okay so we have square root of pi by 2 times d and it is approximately coming as 0 0.14 7 times a d and here we have approximately we have a uh, 0 0.125 a d okay so which one is higher this one or this one of course this one so we need to prefer square section over circular section when this cross section is same for both the cases okay because as z is higher you know that moment is given as stress times z okay so more is the z more is the moment as simple as that okay so it's already 17 minutes over and i need to tell much more about section mod modulus Especially, I need to discuss a lot about the evolution of I section. You know that I section is a very famous, and why this section has been evolved. I need to discuss at least 10 minutes for that. And if I do this in this video, it's going to be too much lengthy. Okay, so I think that's it for today.